One of the great joys of traveling is eating the delicious food that is native to your destination. But how do you even begin to figure out where and what to eat when you get there? So in this video, I'm gonna break down my exact process on how I find where and what to eat during our travels. Hey guys, it's Allie from Away Together, and when Nick and I travel, I am the designated food person. I have developed homegrown food tours all over the world, including some of the best cow soy in Chiang Mai, to finding my favorite donor kebab in Berlin, to some of the best coffee and cake that you can find in the cafes in Vienna. Before we decide where to eat, we need to know what to eat. So the first step of this process is a bit more general. You're gonna do some research on drinks and and food that are specific to the region or area that you're traveling to. Go to Google and say, you know, in this region or area, what are specialty drinks, foods, and desserts that I need to try? And then make a running list of those items so you know what to be on the lookout for. The idea here is you need to focus on the region. For example, in Italy, all the regions have different pastas that are popular. Currywurst is very popular in Northern Germany. There's nothing quite like low country food in Charleston and the list goes on and on. The idea here is that you are getting familiar with the local area and that's what's important. So now that you have your list of foods and beverages that you need to try in the area, it's time to try and figure out what restaurants you wanna try those at. So you're gonna need to do some research on what restaurants you should eat at at your city that you're traveling to. Starting off with Google, you're probably gonna run into publications like Condé Nast and Eater. And those are great, but take them with a grain of salt. You're likely gonna find some sponsored content there. They may be paid for publication, as well as being a little bit more touristy. To find a little bit more local dives, we honestly like to look at bloggers who are food travelers. We personally love two food trippers. We find that their content provides us a lot of inspiration. They have great recommendations for a lot of different cities that they've been to. Also forums, you would be shocked at how many times I found a great restaurant recommendation digging into different forums. So for example, you know, going into Reddit or going to TripAdvisor for the cities and then digging into the comments and seeing people's recommendation. Again, with a grain of salt because you could potentially find people who have some negative comments, but that doesn't necessarily represent the restaurant or the place that you're talking about. But all that being said, this is just for you to start making a list of actual restaurants that you wanna try at your destination. So now that you've got your list of restaurants that you know have the items in the area that you should be trying, it's important to double click on those restaurants and do your own research. When I have my list of restaurants, to potentially look into. I'll always go to Google Maps and I'll see where the restaurant's located in proximity to where we're staying. I'll take a look at pictures that people have uploaded and say, hmm, does that look appetizing? And I'll look at recent reviews to make sure that, you know, if an article was written two years ago, do the recent reviews reflect, you know, that this restaurant is still a good option. Another thing that I like to do sometimes just to pass the time is go into Google Maps and type restaurant in the search bar and see what restaurants are near where we're staying and see if there are any really great eats just near us in general that we can pop in and try. I'll just click through the little red dots see what restaurants are near us, and I've really been able to find some great eats just by doing that sort of research. Lastly, and quite possibly the best way to find local places to eat is asking the locals. So when we check into our Airbnbs, we always make it a point to ask our hosts what we should be eating and where we should be eating it at. And they usually have a laundry list of recommendations. The same goes for our Uber or taxi drivers. We typically like to strike up conversations with them and ask the same thing. We'll say, hey, if we're gonna go get a nice dinner on a Friday night here, where would you go? And you can also validate your own personal list. So ask like, hey, I heard we should try this restaurant. Do you think that we should go there or is there somewhere else that we should be trying out? And this is the best way for you to validate your list or get other recommendations from a local's perspective. It really is a honed craft 
to weed through all of the information and people's opinions on what to eat and where to eat at particular destinations. Be open-minded and be willing to try new things and you'll find delicious bites all over the world. And I hope that some of these tips will help you find the places to do that. Well, thanks for watching and hopefully some of these tips helped you. If you've got a particularly awesome travel food experience, let us know in the comments below. We're very interested in hearing about those. See you next time.